Hi everyone, before we start this video, I would, I would like for you to go to my Go for me project, which are also which are at the end of the description below. If you want to go go help me with one of these projects, please click the links below and it will take you to that particular uh that particular that particular uh project. So please please help me. I need your help. Thank you. God bless. On this episode of the InfoWars News Blitz, Twitter lifts shadow ban of conservatives after congressman threatens FEC complaint. A Swedish girl is threatened with rape for not looking Muslim enough, and a hand grenade is thrown into family's home near Stockholm. That and a lot more, so stay tuned. For the final week of July the 30th, 2018, this is the first article of the year. It's article written by Paul George Washington. The title is called, Twitter lifts shadow ban on conservatives after congressman threatens FEC complaint. Underneath it, it says, but quality filter censorship still remains. Twitter has partially lifted a shadow ban on conservatives using its platform after a Republican Florida representative Mike Gates threatened to file an SEC account, an FEC company against the company. Should have just did it. Did it. Even as far left vice admitted that conservatives were being censored in a report yesterday, which observed the Republican Party chair Rhonda, Rhonda, Rhonda McDaniel, several conservative Republican congressmen, and Donald Trump Jr. spokesmen no longer appear in the auto publishing drop down search on Twitter. They're making it move, people. The report went on to highlight how the policy served to diminish the search of conservatives on the platform and how high profile liberals were not impeached by the shadow ban. Despite this, Twitter insists that the problem had nothing to do with do with public with with politics. Yeah right. Yeah right, you liars. It does have to do with politics. Stop lying. The final straw was almost certainly Re Republican Florida Representative Mike Gates threatened to file a complaint with the FEC, FEC about the shadow banning banning of conservatives. <laughs> Please, you should you should just did that. I am complaining to the FCC with with the FEC because it is my political. If my political opponents have better access to Twitter platform than I do, there is no difference. They're no different than a private company giving my political opponent access to a billboard or TV time or or radio time gates set. That wouldn't be equal. Huh, no the point there. The article goes on to say that while it appears that shadow banning on search on search has been lifted, quality filtering that provides some people's tweet being seen by People who didn't follow them is still very much active. And here's Alex knows about that. So the fact that we got our report to the president, 50-something pages, Mike Adams, Paul Watson did a lot of legwork, put out the articles. You did the legwork as listeners and viewers in the game, on the field, in the arena. And we just had a huge victory because <clears throat> no one had a blueprint till then. So every member of that board every member of that house judiciary had a hard cover delivered to them we had it delivered to their offices we, we made phone calls ourselves we told listeners and put a list of their emails out and said hit all of them and every member of congress i made sure it got to the president they're good patriots that are listening right now i'm not going to even say where i'm not going to say what, what area <laughs> and but i i i contacted three sources connected closely to the president, and two of them said, we, we got it to him. One of them gave me the specifics. So the president had it delivered in to his hands on Air Force One, just as I envisioned. 
Again, it's not that hard to win if you take action and you have the research and do the work. And now the dominoes are falling because they started massively censoring Congress the next week, right on time proving it all, and now they've got the lawmakers pissed and ready to act. Okay, thank you. I mean, seriously. And, 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 and you can even go here, shadowbay.eu, to see where the heck is. I mean, these people really want to do something before the midterm elections. And as I just said, whatever they're going to do, do, do they may try to steal everything thing this time, folks. So please, keep your eyes open. And when I mean steal, steal, I mean, I mean, they're, they're planning for something big, folks. We don't know what, but they need Alex Jones and all these people censored, so they won't be able to say anything at all. So there. Onward to the second article here, and it's all written by, again, Paul Wise. The title is called, Sweden, Sweden, Girl Has Pants Pulled Down, Threatened with Rape for Not Looking Muslim Enough. Europe's efforts to integrate Islamic migrants are failing. Of course it is. A school, a girl at school in Sweden has her pants pulled down and was threatened with rape because she didn't look Muslim enough. The girl has been awarded 2,000 euros in damage after being subjected to gross harassment by other students at the Jonasi School in Mar Marlow. The victim was bullied, called a slut, called a slut in one incident had her clothes removed because she didn't dress Muslim enough. Oh, God, man. Always virtue signaling with these bastards. What? Ugh. According to the girl's father, he was... He said that his daughter was also called a slut and asked what her religious affiliation was. Uh, here's my religious affiliation, Muslims. See this? You can't see it. It's a finger. <laughs> According to a report by Sydney Sedix, oh well, whatever this place is here, I can't pronounce it folks, I'm sorry. Other children as young as six were also beaten and harassed at school, which refused to do anything, which refused to do anything about, about the bullying. Thanks to an investigation by the discrimination of a Budman and Mar Marlowe against discrimination. The girl has been awarded damages and moved to another school. <laughs> Are going to say that Helen Peter Mac Grunt Well, whatever this last name is said last name is sorry if I don't care for this wrong says that the attacks on teachers were preliminarily driven by cultural and religious attitudes held by Arab by that end of African teens who did not respect women. Seriously, folks, do I even need to say this? I mean, send them all back to their own country. I mean, basically, they're not gonna integrate. They're gonna create Sharia law. They're gonna get, turn this whole world to cabin. They're gonna kill people. They don't integrate with their own. And. Excuse me. What I meant to say was basically this. I mean, they don't integrate with no, with, with another culture. They're incompatible. And the funny thing about it is that technically, they're not going to do this. Until somebody just said, you know what, enough's enough. Stop letting these pe people in here. Whatever, this is the last over here, and it's also written by Dan Lyman. The title is called, Hand Grenade Throw Into Family Home Near Stockholm. Great. First the girl, now this, folks, and this is where, where I was actually segueing into, folks. An unsecured, an unsecured grenade was thrown into a family dwelling in Sweden, according to law enforcement. A police details the harrowing incident which took place in vast, uh, oh god. Oh god, another weird, weird word I do not understand here, folks. A suburb in Stockholm. 2.25, about yesterday, July 25th at 10.30 p.m., a family who lives in a flat lower level uh, discovered someone had thrown an unsafe hand grenade 
through an open window. The hangar did not explode and was seized. The police are now looking for information about the event. Police speculate that that the explosive may have been delivered to the wrong location as the family had no criminal background and was under no threat. InfoWars has regularly documented the surge of crime in Sweden in recent years, including nearly a 700% increase in grenade attacks. From 2004 to 2006, attacks in Sweden involved hand grenades jumped from 8 eight reported cases to 52. According to experts of the National Police Department, the use of hand grenades is unique in Sweden and was not found with similar regulation in other parts of Europe. I mean, folks, the Islamists are getting grenades from God knows where. And they're bringing them in here. Bring them in here. And the place is now a complete hell. So, yeah. So, while Sweden doesn't know anything about a Muslim invasion, others like Poland do. And others like it are now realizing that they don't want these people in there because they tried. Because they were sat multiple times. And now it's happening all over again. I mean, seriously, they're being used as a weapon system to pretty much destroy the West. Destroy Europe. And I hate to say it, it's working fine, so uh, keep letting those people in, idiots. Your authority lost, so technically, they're done. I mean, they want, like what, another two? Another ten million in there? In there? I mean, they're crazy. Ugh. Anyway, folks, that's all the articles I have for you today. If you'd like to read more about these articles, please go to the list below or go to Infowars.com or PlaysOfPlanet.com. There you can find hundreds of articles. Those are just what I have read for you today. This is the Infowars news but i'm info got on number three please like subscribe and donate and please donate to my gofundme project thank you god bless